welcome back. Here is a peculiar dancehall story. At least three hit songs in just two years. Just pull up to me, bumpa. Pull up to me, bumpa. Come in, I along that limousine. Songs that together have amassed over 50 million views on YouTube, including this 2013 breakout single with Charlie Black. When we have it over, me a wine and cut. But her physical presence on the local scene has been little to none. So who really is she? And what accounts for her success? Jake Capri is who we're talking about. And she's right now, right here on stage with answer. Jake Capri, welcome. Hello. Good to have you. <laughs> Thank you very much. My okay. Pleasure. First of all, tell us where you reside at the moment. Because I, I am under the impression that you're not even in Jamaica more than so. Oh, my God. No, I'm always on tour, so maybe that's why I get it confused. You're always on tour? Yes, I'm wow. on tour at least once a month. You know, I travel very often to Europe. Oh, really? Yeah. So your fan base is mostly, mostly in Europe? Mostly in then? Europe, yes. And I do a few small island shows, but that's the reason why I believe that I may not be out here. Uh, okay, here. So, so where did you get the break? Did you get it? Would you say a break here in Jamaica or overseas? First? I would say I, you know, really got recognition overseas because it really took off for me after Wine and Coach hit number one on iTunes in France. Mm -hmm. And ever since that, you know, Charlie Black went on tour and then he persuaded the promoter to bring me over there so we could do a couple shows. And ever since that, I've been doing many shows in Holland, France, um, so many other places in Europe. I went to Trinidad, I went to Curacao, Panama, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of places. All right, so stay with Europe a little bit because yeah. um, what accounts for your popularity, your break, your break away, so to speak, in France and the rest of Europe? Well, um, what I've been told is that I have a certain uniqueness to my style and they believe that I'm a really good performer. I also believe I'm a good performer. Mm -hmm. So I think that is why um, a lot of promoters are willing to, you know, send me over there from Jamaica. So, yeah. Oh, so you're a fantastic perf um, performer. I wouldn't say fantastic. There's always room for improvement, but, you know, I like to engage with the audience and just really put on a show. So, okay, yeah. great. So talk a little bit about where you're from in Jamaica, your community and stuff. I'm from Kingston. I used to go to Wilmers. I grew up with my, my mother up until I was about eight. And then after that, I grew up in an extended family. My grandmother, my father, my aunt, my cousins, you know, and we're all really into music and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. a lot of my influence is from my father, who was also an artist back in the day. Ooh, and what's his name? <laughs> Murphy. Murphy. Glamour Murphy, yes. Glamour he was big like that, but he knew mm -hmm. a few people, you know. Um, he knew Mr. Vegas, he knew Bounty Killer, so being a man. Mm -hmm. So um, he was in the industry a little bit, but he wasn't, he didn't get that big break. So, so. from Kingston, where in Kingston exactly? I'm from Bull Bay, Kingston, and then I live with, I moved to um, Ligony with my grandmother. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so talk about school, um, Wilmers. You, mm -hmm. you only went to high school? You, I went what, to did Wilmers. Did you graduate? Yes, I graduated and I went to Exed Community College, and then after that, I didn't complete my course at Exed. I then moved on to Edna Manley, and I still didn't complete my course mm -hmm. because that is when I met Russian. I met Russian in my second year of going to Edna Manley. And it was just a really, really got good opportunity. And I didn't know how to manage music and school because they both took up a lot of time. You know, with school, you have a lot of So what were you doing at Edna? Stuff. I was doing music. You are doing music? Yes. And have you have you have you benefited from what you had learned? Yes, you had I've, I've a benefited a lot because you know you can't just sing alone. You have to know about you, you have to know about the backgrounds of music, even how to to read music can help you a lot because if you're in studio and you're working with a producer okay. and they play a certain key that you're singing, at least you can say, oh, that's a G, that's a A minor, that's something. So it really helps. It's it's very beneficial. Can you imagine if you had finished? Yeah, trust me, but. I mean, I don't regret my decision because I met Roshan, you know, it was a good experience with him and I was open to so many opportunities. Okay. I got to tour and everything, so I have no regrets. You kept talking about Russian. Yes, he's my Russian, manager. Russian yeah. is, is your manager? Yes. Um, and producer as well? Yes, producer. Okay, who else is in your team? 
Um, well, Shandy's is a part of Head Concussion Records. Sensi is a part of Head Concussion Records. So yeah, and then you have other affiliates. Okay, yeah. so where are you heading, Jay? Where, where am you, I heading? Where are you heading? Where are you going with this? I see myself as an international artist because honestly speaking, I, I knew nothing really about dancehall growing up. I did just love how it sound and mm -hmm. I was in love with Patra and Lady Saw back in the day because they, they took it to that international level and I feel like dancehall has a very big impact on not just Jamaica but the world itself because I mean I've seen it. So I really just want to merge this dancehall flavor that I've developed with this R&B flavor that I've had for years and years and just really take it to a different level, you know? I see myself, you see like how Sean Paul really did wonders in dancehall, I mean, on the international scene for dancehall. That, that's that's kind of what I want to do, or bigger. So international was your target from the yeah. onset? Yes, yes. And, and still so? Yes. And, and so, and hence, and you're making, you've made progress. Yes. You're, you're winning because your, your numbers are, uh, uh, Impressive. Surprisingly, I really didn't expect it. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can tell us about your, your immediate future, what's in it, and if anything in it for home country to make. <laughs> okay, well, um, I have a new song produced by Kimani MLMG, major label music group. It's called Heat My Love. Um, it should be releasing next week uh, in the, like, the late 20s of May. Okay. And um, I also have two other new songs um, produced by Roshan and Stephen McGregor. One is called Live It Up, the other is called Little. So I have a lot, a lot more videos and music coming out. So. And local stage, anywhere you make the appearance? And um, there's a possibility that I might be performing at some fest. Oh, so I'm big really bad reggae yes, fest. a little That's nervous. That's a possibility. So you're working towards yeah, that. I'm a that little nervous, nice. but I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited because any particular said, night that would that you would be you would feel more comfortable on of the three um, international one international two and dance all. I which, mean which I would I would like to perform choice. international night but I don't think I've reached that status yet oh. so um, dance all because I've been producing I've been releasing dance all tracks I mean, okay. since I've been on the scene. So your passion so would be... Your, my your passion is... <laughs> is international. But my passion is with both. So yes. it really doesn't matter. Either way, I'd be grateful to be on so, the stage. But you would be comfortable with dance all, eh? Yes, I'd be comfortable dance all with dance all, eh? Okay. Because, I mean, I've danced all. You know something? I want to say that women have, have searched mm -hmm. in dance all in recent times. There are yeah. so many of you now. Yeah. Almost every week now we have a woman yeah. on stage. Yeah. <laughs> And that's wonderful. I mean, we've been calling for this for, for years. Yeah, I, I personally have been t calling for this. Mm -hmm. For more women to take over the space, to bring mm -hmm. style and fashion and mm -hmm. femininity yes. and, and sexiness, yeah. you know, to the space. And yeah. I, we love it. At the end of the day, I'm Jamaican and I have to give, you know, all my credit to just being Jamaican on a whole and the people that have paved the way in dancehall, all the dancehall artists, as I said, Patra, mm -hmm. you know, Lady Saw, Spice, Tifa, all the female artists that did their thing because they really opened up a lot of doors. It's just that I feel like it hasn't reached to the, the, the stage where I think it deserves to be. You know what I'm saying? Like you see how hip hop and R&B, very big markets, EDM, very big markets. I feel like dancehall needs to be on that same platform. Okay. You know, and nobody has really took it to that level since Sean Paul. Mm -hmm. So. I really, I mean, hope if somebody comes before me, I have no problem with that, but I really want to take it to that level. So, could you just sample something for us? Give us a sample of uh, something. Give me a piece of heat, my love. You That's a new that? one coming? Yeah. That's a new one? It's a new one coming next week. Okay. So, look out for it. You know regular, regular, so give me the thing proper. Put it on me right there, so you know. I love it when you set it up. Plug it in and plug it up. Put it on me right there, so whenever I am feeling cold, I'm coming to your sauna, so I may help. Make me sweat it up. Turn up the heat, my love. Me want you right now. Baby, don't turn away. Got a fever that's so high. Eh, for your love, I don't know why. Can't get your love out of my mind. Eh, me want you to turn up the heat, my love. Heat, my love. Heat, my love. Ha <laughs> ha. The heat is on right now. It's on, right here on our stage. Yes, I hear it. I hear it. You're too rude, though. 
<laughs> You're rude, bad. Capri, but we hear oh, the R&B oozing I'm, I'm soft in comparison to a lot of artists. Oh, <laughs> come on. You're so rude. And that, that R&B sound is coming out there. It's yeah. oozing out to you. And the dance all touch. So that yeah. song then will be both. Well, here's, a, here's what is going to happen. You're going to have to come back soon for mm -hmm. us to perform. Yes. Right here on stage My like My pleasure. Us. All right. So, <laughs> viewers, that's the promise from her and us. Of course. J. Capri live right here on stage very soon, in the very near future, before some fest, for sure. All right, there you have her. J. Capri, our very special guest in this segment. Stay with us. When we come back, Joe Bogdanovich. Wow. Thank you, God. You made me never live in poverty. Thank you, God, for the joy that you have given.